Okay, so welcome <clears throat> everyone. What I am up to today? Uh, yeah, let's look it through. As you can see, I did make a tiny patch to my granny late machine. And what do I got in here? Boom! Piece of iron pipe, or I suppose to say iron profile. And what else? What else do I got in here? Uh, metal cutters. Boom! And right next to them, it's laying this little guy. And I was for quite a long time thinking about making something to crush them or mill them or grind them or something like that or smash, whatever. Just so I don't need to incinerate that. Uh, but yeah, every time when I uh, come out with some ideas and I try to think it through, it's come out something in the way. What probably will not work. Anyway. That's my last idea and I did look uh, through my thingy in here and I find out few pieces what may make and work but I will not know that until uh, I just make the test. So what I what I gonna do with that? This is very simple. Uh, I basically just for the testing purpose, I'm gonna use my lathe machine uh, to the run the blade in the self uh, profile. And what I'm gonna do right now, I just put those uh, profile run profile inside the jaws. What next I'm gonna do? I gonna I did align it a little bit, almost in the center, so I still can have. A tiny way to adjust if I want to move it higher or lower. So there is piece what's gonna be hold onto. So I'm gonna move it closer, just like so, and just gonna weld it around. Right under this piece in here, I got two plates actually. As we look from the other side, there's two tiny blocks of metal. If I'm gonna lift it higher then I'm gonna add some blocks because I still have some space at the top. If I'm gonna move it lower then I'm gonna just reduce those value of these blocks. Anyway, so I'm gonna weld those thingy, those tiny uh, square pipe, square profile into this round profile Later on, I'm gonna move the whole thing uh, just like so. Of course, I lose those round profile, so this will be stick to this piece. And later on, I'm gonna put this tiny cutter inside this jaws. So that's if I do everything correct, correct so far. I supposed to have it aligned in the same uh, level. And as I take my measurements correct, if I was happy to do that, let's do it. Self round profile. Come on, move yourself. It is about 51, 51 point, yeah, point three, something like that. And the self cutters, it is like. One, exactly 51 mils. So that gives me 
if I feed it uh, through this profile, this little guy, about 0.12 and a half mils distance between it. So that's good. And so far I'm not gonna build any uh, drive to run it or something. I'm gonna use uh, my late machine to run it and to test it out if it's work. And boom, as you can see, uh, the biggest chip what I used to found it is like 40 pins one and it's actually fit with the let's move the camera a little bit so we can see it or maybe let's move in here boom boom just like so as you can see it's make almost perfect fit to the self cutting blades anyway uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna work if I will uh, for example cut tiny sockets just right in here uh, in this size so the chip will go through it just like so but I'm gonna make at the beginning exactly a little bit bigger than the size of the chip because this is basically biggest chip what I used to get and yes I I was a little bit uh, afraid if I cut this such a size of the uh, slot for the CPUs to go in if I will be able uh, to get it so small pieces what I want because I was thinking maybe as we got some kind of huge holes in here if the chip fall down boom that's gonna crash like so and that will be at least four or five mils and I don't want that but as far I will have the my slots cut it this way actually straight and the cutters are on the angle so that may avoid to fall all the way down all the way down to the groove and cut it but they will just slowly <laughs> yep sorry for that it just fall out that will allow me to slowly grind it down that's my plan so far i'm gonna use this big little guy and if this is not gonna work I will try to make something with this cutter in here as well as you can see much smaller groove to fall in compared to this one and if that's not gonna work I have one straight one as well as well not too deep so it's not fall too deep and they are straight instead of like this one they are angled uh, something in between and I got one very tiny one a little bit angle one but I'm not really sure if that's gonna work as well as well, I think uh, the big things gonna make which uh, how speed I gonna run it because as far as far I gonna well this two thingy together then I will just move it out and put the cutter inside then I can find out uh, if. The rotation speed make difference or not but I guess that will make a huge difference so let me cut out the slot in this size about this chip or slightly bigger and that's gonna be straight not angled as same as 
cutter. But yeah, who knows? Maybe, maybe that's not a stupid idea to cut it in the angle a little bit. But yeah, we'll find out it later on. I think I got like a little bit of a little, little more of that profile. I do got exactly same one, same size, though it's slightly shorter. Uh, but yeah, not too many ideas at once. Let's try with the first one so far and we will all see if it's work or not. And if it's work, then we, uh, or I, gonna play with the drive system to run all this. Because I don't need such a huge machine running. Uh, just to get few IC chips. Anyway, so that's the start for now of the project and we will all see what's come out of it. So let me play with that and yeah, see you later on.